Texas Governor Greg Abbott is taking matters into his own hands. He announced that he is going to continue building the wall that President Trump started. Former Acting Customs and Border Patrol Commissioner under President Trump says Texas is right to stand up for itself because we cannot count on the Biden administration to secure the border. Stephanie Meyer of Saved in America rejoins us along with former Acting CBP Commissioner Mark Morgan. Good to see you both. Thanks, John. Stephanie, I want to start with you. Um, a lot of our viewers may go, and I, I recognize her face from somewhere. Uh, you were on The Apprentice. Um, with That's where I think you met Donald Trump. He actually, as far as I, I understand, asked you to, to delve into this subject, this area. Why? Well, considering where I live in San Diego, uh, we are the second corridor for not only drugs, but human and sex trafficking. The interesting part, when we had this discussion, it was right before he signed his second executive order in January to protect our children from online predators. So it was perfect timing and something that's near and dear to my heart was to ensure not only my community is safe, but to also try and save the children across the nation. Hmm. Uh, Commissioner, I do want to go back to what Sean was saying about uh, this wall that Governor Abbott is starting. You penned an op-ed applauding Texas Governor Greg Abbott for doing what you say the Biden administration cannot. They're not handling this border crisis well. But mm -hmm. will Abbott's wall be successful and why? Yeah, it can be. First of all, we know that, that none of this administration isn't doing anything about it. They actually created it. We have a current vice president that is beyond not doing anything about it. She's actually joking about it. She's actually making a mockery out of it and saying and referring to that thing on the southwest border. As Stephanie, your, your other guest, has just mentioned the horrific aspects of human trafficking. We know about drugs coming across, killing tens of thousands of Americans every single year. Look, the, the threats are complex and multi fast on our border. And that's why we've been saying since day one, when President Biden destroyed every effective tool and authority we had with the stroke of a political pen, we said our last line of defense to address our southwest border and secure it is going to be the states. You have the AG of Paxson of Texas, who went out days after and sued the administration and won. And now you have the attorney, now you have the, uh, the governor, Abbott, that's coming out strong. Look, he has the ability, he has the authority to not only build the wall, but also infor enforce state law and secure our borders. And that's what he says he's going to do. I applaud his efforts. More states need to fall in line. Mark, I mean, what about do you do you think that we bumbled the message? What should we have been more focused on talking about what Stephanie's talking about and the problems that her organization is trying to solve? Yeah, look, Sean, I think we did on the Trump administration. We put we pushed back, but we also pushed back against mainstream media that was really an extension of the Democratic Party and open border advocates. That was a tough battle to fight. Uh, and we, we did our best. But look, remember, the so-called kids in cages, when were they built? Sean, you and I talked about this. They were built under the Obama administration, and they were done for the very reasons that you stated, Sean. Look, unaccompanied minors is from a baby to 17 years old. We had some that would come in their fathers with a, a, a kid, mothers with kids. We made sure we needed to separate them to make sure that they were being protected in our care before we turned them over to HHS. And, and they were separated by chain link fence. The only difference now, the picture you saw, you saw was instead of the chain link fence, it's plexiglass. But it's the same exact concept and the same facilities. But now it's plexiglass under this administration. It's OK. Chain link fence. It wasn't OK. It's just absurd. Wow. Stephanie, before we go, you know, the crazy thing is you have the vice president saying we're trying to find the root cause. Yet when she went to go visit the president of Guatemala, he blamed the Biden administration and said, hey, you are the root cause. He didn't use his word, but he said you have caused this issue by the mixed messaging and cartels are already down taking advantage of unaccompanied minors. They say they care about these kids. Yet what is happening at our border and what we're seeing this surge, that is the mixed messaging. If they care about the children, then don't let them come in. Where is the disconnect for this administration on this issue? Well, we've invited uh, the vice president. In fact, Congressman Darrell Issa just invited her again. It's a billion dollar business down here. No one has even offered to even come down to the border. We'll show you the border. We'll personally walk you down the border to show you what's going on. Unfortunately, they're closing the eyes of the issue, and this issue is growing exponentially, as I discussed. On every given day, there's 300,000 missing children in the United States, and one-third, approximately 100,000, are now being trafficked. Mark, i got 30 seconds left, but I've asked this to a lot of guests. Do you think this is intentional? 
Absolutely, John. Absolutely, one hundred percent. The Democratic Party sees a perceived political benefit either through a bump in the House through the census, or they believe every illegal alien they find a pathway to citizenship is going to equate to a Democratic vote. It's politics and power is worse, and they're sacrificing our national security. Your viewers need to understand that. Yeah, I, 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 that to me is. It's so blatantly obvious uh, that yeah. I just wanted to make sure that everyone heard it from your mouth. Um, Stephanie, Mark, thank you both for being here to highlight this important, important issue. Thanks. Thank you.